Hey everybody, happy Sentinels Tuesday! I've been focusing a lot on heroes ever since I started this. I mean, I didn't like an environment once, but I have an interesting villain to show off today. His name is Black Jack, not Black Jack. He's kind of your gunman, gambler, makes a deal with the devil, now he's cursed to want to land, something along those lines. He was created by Flat on His Face, who's a fairly well-known designer, and he has a really fantastic mechanic. But first I'll go ahead and introduce the game. I've decided to mix in some cauldron today, and we're going with a the theme of heroes flung through time. So you got Chrono Ranger, who, you know, we're going to have a Wild West shootout. You need the cowboy. 1929 Baccarat, who is arguably the best Baccarat. Omnitron U, and the Knight in the Time Cataclysm. I could have done Silver Gulch, but that's where I fought Blackjack the first time I played him, and that game went really well for me, so I wanted to see if maybe we could make things a little harder on the heroes. So Blackjack starts, hit me side up. His gameplay you'll note is very long. So the first time each turn a villain card will be put into play, set it aside instead. Reveal and set aside the top card of the villain deck until values of the set aside cards total 17 or more. And put all set aside cards into play in order from lowest to highest value. Aces have a value of 1, Jack, Queen, and King have a value of 10 each. So each of his 25 cards has a value and a suit on it. I don't remember if the suits mean anything, they might. But basically what he does is he plays blackjack with himself. When an ace and exactly one other card with a value of 10 is set aside, stop revealing cards, destroy all non-character hero cards, so his blackjack effect is pretty devastating, and put the set aside villain cards into play ace first. If the total value of set aside villain cards is greater than 21, or more than 5 villain cards are set aside at once, blackjack busts until the end of turn. So his one shots and so forth have a bust text on them. Basically it tones down what he's able to do. If he doesn't bust, he's pretty nasty because he gets to play like four cards. But if he does bust, he's a little bit more manageable. So let's go ahead and start him off. So we will reveal and set aside cards until he gets 17 or more or an ace and a 10. All right, so we got the queen of spades. A 7, that's 17. Then we put them into play from lowest to highest value, so the 7 goes into play first. Settle the score. Destroy X hero ongoing or equipment cards where X is the number of villain set aside cards this turn. There aren't any. So you see if Blackjack busts, X is 1 instead. So instead of 2, it would be 1. Not a big difference. Second win, Blackjack regains 10 hit points. Well, he's at full. If he busts, he regains 8 hit points instead. And that's it. That's his turn. He has no end of turn of text, no start of turn text. He can just play upwards of 5 cards around. So, we're gonna beat the crap out of him. Yeah, start with the Displaced Armory, get the hat, gotta have your hat, hit him for one, and then second play will be that Dead or Alive. Start healing, hit him for another one. All right, we're making good progress into his 121 hit points. Jeez, I will play Underworld Hold'em and let Chrono Ranger draw a card. And then his power is Card Sharp, player draw a card. If you played a trick this way, draw a card. So I'll play another Underworld Hold'em and let myself draw a card and then draw a card because I played a trick and then draw a card at the end of the turn. Off to a decent start. We'll play Focus Plasma Cannon. Activate Volatile Wiring. Play Reactive Plating Subroutine, I guess. And draw a card. Right, Knight. Alright, we'll go ahead and give him a short sword to up his damage. And then he will use that sword to deal through damage. Right, Time Cataclysm. Oh boy. This is gonna suck a lot. Tendrils of Madness is going to hit Blackjack for one and increase his damage for a round. That's terrible. We start playing again. It is a nine. I can't quite read it. Oh, I'm looking at the wrong part of the card. Let's look up the title and not the keyword. Eight of spades, that's 17 again. Okay, so let's take it outside. Blackjack destroys the environment card that has been in play the longest and deals the hero target with the highest HP, H plus two fire damage. Damn. Okay, so Tendrils of Madness goes away. He hits the highest for six. That's the knight. I'm um, sorry, seven, because that plus one remains in play. I don't know what his nemesis symbol is supposed to be. That kind of looks like Omnitron, but it's not. And then we have Card Sharp. Blackjack deals the hero target with the lowest HP to projectile damage. Omnitron will take that. Blackjack busts, it gets redirected to the hero target with highest HP, so he can dig through the lowest target, or he just, you know, hits the meat wall instead. I think it would be a very good time for the Neurotoxin Dart Thrower, and then just doing my job. Okay, so you can draw four cards off of that. Um, three cards. He doesn't actually have anything to discard for himself. And deal a damage. Oh yeah, well, I was going to say he healed one, but at full still. Then hits him with the Neurotoxin Dart Thrower to negate that plus one. That'll be nice. 
a trick. Discard the top card of my deck. Reveal cards until a trick is revealed. Shuffle the cards into play and put the trick into play. Afterlife Euchre. I'll go ahead and deal the target to toxic damage. Blackjack's big weakness is that he's the only target in his deck, so it's real easy to kick his butt. Also, I'm not sure how he flips. I know he's got a card in his deck that does it, but last time I never got it, and I'm not sure what happens when he flips. All right, card sharp. You go ahead and go all in, discard a card from my hand, deal each non-hero target one and one, could be better. Draw a card off of that, because it was a trick, and draw another card. Wait, is that a trick? That's not a trick. I'm wrong. Okay, he deals a target two damage. Play elemental exo chassis for the hell of it. Volatile wiring and reset. Oh uh, yeah, I'll play that Gaussian Quail Blaster and draw a card. Whetstone increases melee damage by one more and go ahead and hit him for four. Knight's doing pretty good. Still haven't gotten through his first 21 hit points though. All right, his plus one goes away. Hey, it's Tumbleweed. That's nice. All right, playing the things. Hard to kill, that's a king. Took my ace up to 13. Oh, 22. All right, so he busts. We still put these in play in value order. So we start with you took my ace. Each player may discard a card. The hero of every player that does not discard this way deals each melee damage to the next active hero on their left. Oh, cripes. So we definitely don't want the knight doing that. Oh boy, and we get two of these. And the fact that he busted doesn't matter. Shoot, we're losing a bunch of cards here. This is nasty. Okay, so that's the... First one, second one, drop that. Omnitron is going to hit Baccarat for four. Baccarat loses his hand. Guess I don't need Danny Boy. And then hard to kill. Blackjack is immune to damage until the start of the next villain turn. If he busts, reduce damage dealt to him by two until the start of the next villain turn instead. Okay, so that's not that much better, to be perfectly honest. Omnitron can deal with that. But there you go. All right, Chrono Ranger honestly has nothing to do. He's going to skip his play, hit for nothing to keep that minus one on him, and just draw. Baccarat's going to skip and draw. Omnitron deals two damage and then no damage, and he's going to activate Volatile Wiring. He has nothing to play. He has no equipment cards in his trash, so he just draws. All right, Battlefield Scavenger. This is important. Each player may draw a card or take an equipment or ongoing card from their trash and put it on top of their deck. Everybody's going to draw. And he will deal a grand total of two damage. Yow. The tumbleweed goes away. Mars Quake. Deal each target two melee damage. That basically means just the heroes. I might actually leave that around. I don't think Blackjack has any ongoings. I think they're all one shots. But we could drop like reactive plating subroutine and get some damage off of Omnitron. Okay, he loses his minus two. Thank goodness. And we do the thing. Four, 14, 19. Okay, so he gets Supernatural Charge. Increase all projectile damage dealt by Blackjack by two. Damage dealt by Blackjack is irreducible. The end of the environment turn, destroy this card. Oh, that is a gambler card, so that's kind of an ongoing, only it's not. Why is it at the end of the environment turn? That's okay, whatever. So he gets a plus two on his projectile damage. Let's take it outside. He destroys an environment card, darn. Deals the hero target with the highest HP. Six fire damage. Okay, it's fire damage, so it doesn't get the extra plus two. And it's only five because of the toxin dart thrower. That's why I didn't skip that. Waylaid. Blackjack deals each hero target for melee damage. Or irreducible melee damage, not that it matters. Tron does not lose his stuff. Wish I could get some bounties on him. The Ranger heals one, and that is not an ongoing, so I can't get rid of it. Not that it really matters. We'll go ahead and terrible tech strike twice. I see no reason not to do that. And then Toxin Dart Thrower to keep that minus one on him. That's very important. I will go all in, discard the card toss to deal him one and one. And then for my power, play Underworld Hold'em to let, yeah, himself draw a card. And then he draws a card because he played a trick, and then he draws a card at the end of his turn. Okay, Omnitron deals two damage and one damage. Play the Innervation Ray, Volatile Wiring, play the Disruptive Flechettes with that and deal him two damage, then draw a card. Hey, all right. Plate mail, hit him for four. I'm Cataclysm. Fixed point, oh no. Great, so that means that Gambler card does not go away. It would be destroyed now, and it's not. On the other hand, Omnitron stuff can't be destroyed either, and that plate mail is now invincible. I like it. Okay, so that card is not considered to be set aside, so we just ignore that and he keeps his plus two. So we get six, queen, 16, 19. Damn, I was hoping he would bust. Okay, he gets another supernatural charge. That's terrible. That's admittedly an edge case, but oh my god. He's got plus four projectile damage. Card sharp. He deals the hero target with the lowest HP to six projectile damage. That plate mail is going away eventually. 
Second win, Blackjack regains 10 hit points. Wow. Runner Ranger heals one. Play the Compounded Bow. Mm, I could get rid of Fixed Point, but there's really no reason to. I think we can get more use out of it. Displaced Armory, sake of doing a damage. Masada. Yeah, for those times when he gets the damage reduction, hit him for one. That's right, the Plate Mates hope one last. I'm going to keep up with the Neurotoxin Dart Thrower just because that's been really helpful. That's been exceedingly helpful. All right, card toss. Deal a target one projectile damage. I can play a card. This is Solitaire. We'll start your next turn, reduce damage delta back right by one. And then I will play a trick. Graveyard Bridge. Card from your trash into your deck. I need to be able to play a second copy of it. Okay, let's do Afterlife Euchre. So shuffle it into my deck. I can play another copy of that card from my trash. I'll hit him for two. And then all copies of that card in my trash get shuffled into my deck. And I played a trick so I can draw a card and draw a card. Omnitron does two damage and one damage and heals one, two, and the plate mail. Ha! Ah, so he won't lose it after all. Uh, and then he's gonna reset. Um, yeah, I'll go ahead and play that. Really like an electro deployment unit. Cool. Also wiring, disruptive flechettes. And draw a card. Yeah, we'll definitely play that stalwart shield. So, sword and shield in hand. He takes one less, and so do my equipment cards. And then I'll hit him for four damage. Finally pass that 10 that he healed. Cripes. It's gonna be a slow game. Okay, fixed point goes away, and that's it. It's a spy. It's the second highest for three. Knight will take that. And then we destroy both of those, and he loses all of his ridiculous bonuses. <laughs> Alright, time to do the thing. Five. Ace. That's 15. King. 25. He busts. Okay, when this card enters play, each player must discard a card. Next time a non-gambler villain card is put into play, it is played an additional time. Oh, jeez. Start of the villain turn, shuffle this in the villain trash into the villain deck. Oh, boy. Okay, so we get two rounds of hard to kill. <laughs> Blackjack busted, so that means he gets four damage reduction until the start of his turn. That's... Oh, jeez. He doubled down on it. Okay, and then the ace is 21. If exactly two villain cards were set aside this turn, nope. Flip Blackjack's character card. Oh, there we go. That's how you flip him. Otherwise, discard the top card of each deck. Blackjack busts. He deals all non-villain targets four energy damage each. Oh, shit. So, yeah, busting is not necessarily always good. Um, the knight will redirect his to the plate mail. Oh, Omnitron only takes two. And he's got reactive plating subroutine, which means he can deal no damage. Actually, he'll hit the spy because then Blackjack will take him down. Yeah, because it's all non-villain target. Spy's dead. Ah, Backrat only took one. Okay, and then at start of his turn, that gets shuffled into the trash. All right! Runner Ranger heals. He really used some bounties here. Now, you know what? Skip his turn and draw. Hey, bounties. That's not actually useful, but whatever. All right, ace in the hole. You may play a card. I ain't got no cards to play. I may use back rats and eight power twice this turn. I will draw a card, and then I will draw a card, and then I will draw a card. Okay, two irreducible damage. No damage off the thingy. Healing. Slip through time. Okay. Well, skip his play phase. Volatile wiring. Have to play that. Nope, nothing in his trash. Uh, and then he draws a card. And at the end of his turn, he can play a card and use a power. There's no point in playing that because I can't deal damage. So, slip through time is wasted. Catch your breath. Draw a card and he heals too. Man, this guy has really been attacking our hands. And then I will deal him no damage. Oh man, do I have a different power I can use? The answer is no. Okay, so the knight is completely stonewalled. Good gravy. Time cataclysm. Oh no. Oh my precious, precious cards. It wouldn't be so bad if it made us discard because I got a couple people who can pull shit out of their discard pile. All right, he loses all of his ridiculous damage reduction. And then that and the villain trash get shuffled into the deck. And we continue. Oof, queen. 14? 24, he busts. Double or nothing, oh no. Wait, this is completely different. When Blackjack would be dealt damage, reveal the top card of the villain deck. If the revealed card is a spade or a club, double the damage. Otherwise, prevent the damage, discard the revealed card. Oh, that's a f Okay, so the last double or nothing doubled the next card that he played. This one gives you a fun way to maybe kick his ass worse. In the environment turn, destroy this card. Okay, again, why is it at the end of the environment turn? I don't know. Hard to kill. So he goes back to having two damage reduction. Well, that's... Fine, I guess. And second wind busted, so he only gains four. 
That's definitely better than it could have been. Okay, so we have some interesting things to do. Play kill on sight and the whole gang on him, and I'm going to Masada him for three. Oh, except first I have to reveal that it is the three of clubs. Double the damage. I hit him for six and draw a card. That's a really fun card to have in play. I really like this villain, even though he's kind of a pain in the ass. Play that, or I could skip my turn and draw two cards. Okay, two damage. No damage. Healy, Healy. Draw a card. Slip through time goes away, and the damage is unfortunately wasted. Okay, skip. Volatile wiring. Singularity. I don't have to destroy any equipment cards, so I won't. Poor Onitron, though. He's having a hard time. Played Helm. Predators play, you may draw a card. I never noticed that before. Yay. All right, and he'll hit him for two. Reveal is the Ace of Spades, so that's four damage. Nice. So despite his ridiculous damage reduction, we were able to do a bunch of damage to him this round. Typhoon goes away. Good riddance. Hey, it's a cockroach. It's the three targets, highest HP for one damage each. So that's Blackjack, who soaks it. The Knight, who soaks it. And Chrono Ranger. All right, and then that card is destroyed. And his damage reduction. Let's hope it stays like that. Seven, 16, oh please, 26 he busts. All right, fan the hammer. If Blackjack busts, change the damage type to Infernal. Ah, that's, if he's got his plus two projectile damage out, then it won't help that. So he hits for the number of villain cards set aside this turn. So three Infernal damage to, yeah, he'll just redirect that to the helm. Don't care. Into Chrono Ranger. You took my ace. Oh, each player may discard a card. The hero of every player that does not discard this way deals each melee damage to the next active hero. Oh, boy. And then, when I jack, select the player with the most cards in the trash. Oh, jeez. That would be Baccarat. Villain Trash has more cards in it. Don't think it does, because he just reshuffled. Yeah, no. Blackjack deals selected players X Infernal damage, where X is the difference in the number of cards. Oh, shuffle the selected players' trash in their deck. Ah, oh, that sucks for Baccarat. Okay, that was a pain in the ass. <laughs> Ah, uh, Chrono Ranger heals one. We need a support character. <laughs> we need somebody to help us draw things. I could play that Temporal Grenade and get rid of the Cockroach, or I could just not care about it at all. I'm gonna hit him for 300 damage. Lawman's laying down the law. Oh, finally. Gotta hope that doesn't get discarded. Okay, card toss. Jerk ass. Boom. Play a card. Oh wait, Graveyard Bridge is not actually useful. Well, okay, I'll just go ahead and play Afterlife Euchre, hit him for two, and then I'll use my power to draw. I'm trying to play a trick and draw. Okay, two damage. One and one. Healy. We don't care about Chrono Ranger because he can heal himself. We'll heal Plate Mail. Draw a card. Hey, all right. Playing that, I still have no equipment in my trash, so Volatile Wiring. Draw a card, and that's it. Sure footing. That's nice. Hit number four. Rift in time. Okay, the cockroach hits Blackjack. It hits the knight who soaks it, and it hits Omnitron. And Rift in time plays. Rushing hallway. The knight will discard his... Oh, wait, actually... No, we don't have to do that. We've got a Temple Grenade, number one. We've got Rift in Time happening before it, number two. So, don't care about that. Blackjack, three. God damn it. Eleven. Nineteen. Damn. Double or nothing when he would be dealt damage. Okay, this is the club or spade version. Took my ace, but he discard or deal some damage. He's not going to discard. Chronomir's going to hit the knight for three. Yeah, kill the playmail. The knight's got to discard. Omnitron would really like to not discard, so he's going to hit back her head. And then six. Destroy, ooh. Destroy four hero ongoing or equipment cards. Okay. 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 One. Two damage. Two. Two damage. Three. Two damage. And we'll drop that sure footing because we don't really need it. That hurt him more than it hurt us. And now Omnitron has shit to do with his power. And what's the last one? Fan and the Hammer. Deals the two hero targets the highest HP. Four projectile damage. Oof. And four to him. Damage. Okay, he hasn't taken any other damage this round, so he doesn't lose his stuff. If he did, that would be eight damage to Blackjack, though. All right, Chrono Ranger heals one, and we're going to play Sudden Contract. We get that by any means out so we can kill his ass faster. Shuffle, deal him two damage. It's time for this asshole to go. I'm going to use the Temporal Grenade, hit him for two, hit the Cockroach, kill the Crushing Hallway, so I can use that up. Okay, Life Euchre, hit him for three, and then... Power, play I fold, discard my hand, well, that happened, draw three cards. Nice. He draws a card. Okay, two, three damage. Healing. He's going to draw a card and probably draw another card. Yeah. All right, technological advancement. You know what we need? We need a blade of coating. God damn it. The heroes are suddenly rallying. Power, volatile wiring. I could really kick his ass. I'm going to kick his ass. Self-sabotage. All right, so I'm going to destroy four components. 
for each of those, I deal two instances of two fire damage. So that's eight instances of two. It's all going at blackjack, so that's eight instances of three. So that's 24 damage. He's down to 13 hit points. And then I deal a target X energy damage where X is the number of component cards destroyed this way times two. So that's eight, nine. You're welcome. Omnitron has been impotent this entire game and he just goes, you know what? Fuck it. And kills him. Oh, and you know what? I forgot the double or nothing was out. I, ooh, that's bad. Hmm. I have hit him so many times. Let me think about this for a second. Okay. I don't know how many hit points he had. Let's see. 40 damage? Okay, let's go back up to 44 and let's do this the right way. Okay, so if it's a spade or a club, double the damage. This is this is fun. Okay, sudden contract. Club, double the damage. So it's two, four. Temporal grenade, double the damage. Afterlife euchre, double the damage. Eight instances of three damage each. One, vented. Two, prevented. Three, prevented. Four, doubled. Five, prevented. Six, prevented. Seven, doubled. Eight, prevented. Nine damage from self-sabotage. Doubled. He dies. Okay. Jeez. So that was Blackjack, and like I said, I love his mechanic. He is kind of a pain in the ass to fight against, but that double or nothing card is amazing. You know, the fact that he's the only target means that he's susceptible to things like by any means, but you saw, forgetting that card was there, I did 40 damage to him, and then a lot of that was prevented. But it didn't matter. It all balanced out. So that's, uh, that's Blackjack. If you like him, please go check out the thread on Board Game Geek. He's been around for a while. I don't know if Flat on His Face is around anymore. I don't think he is. And as always, Tabletop Simulator and the Reavers Sentinels and Cauldron DLC are not officially licensed greater than game products. Please support the official release. Flip!